Greetings, gaming citizens. Mike here. And, you know, I, I don't like doing these, like, um, little tidbits before the reactions, but I figured I would bring this up just in case uh, you may think something is off about me. I have spent the whole day traveling, so if it seems like some of my reactions are a bit underwhelming, it's because I am basically dead from a whole day of traveling. So, uh, yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there. Let's get right to the content. Okay, I'm a bit late to the party, since this premiered in the morning when I was on a flight, so... Yeah, let's see, what's Nintendo cooking up for us in 2024? I almost said 2022. Oh, Mario. I know that guy. Oh, Luigi. Okay. Wait, they... they they're talking! Oh, he's dead. What? What is this? Ultra space? Oh! Okay! What? what? <laughs> oh, the old, uh... Action commands. Yes! What? So does that mean they, like, hired everybody that was on Alpha Dream to make this happen? That's so cool. Yo! Honestly, I'm also kind of a fan of the art style, too. It's a little off-putting, but, like, I don't mind it. Aw, oh, the animations look so good. Oh my god, this looks amazing. I, I feel like this is just a love letter to people who enjoy Superstar Saga or Partners in Time or Browsers Inside Story. Like, this is just like classic Mario Luigi. I love that. Dang, Mario Luigi Brothership. Interesting. Oh, November, okay. Brothership though. Hello everyone. I wonder why that Takahashi, subtitle is that. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Takahashi, my goat. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Mario and Luigi Brothership. So is it going to be to a seafaring adventure that unfolds oh, seafaring islands as well as evolved bros moves with Mario and Luigi. So Mario and Luigi are finding the one piece. Okay, let's see the first batch of headlines. Oh, that was it. Uh, okay. Bring the championships home. Okay, the NES edition uh or edition uh NES the fat World the thing on the screen. Heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Take on over 150 speedrunning challenges from across 13 NES games. I already have this pre-ordered. I pre-ordered the uh, special edition. It's gonna go on my new shelf. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Then this is neat, though. Shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. You can also try more difficult legend challenges. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Isn't that just Stop how you normally play, though? Check out classified information for handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Oh, that's kind of cool. In survival mode, where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? That actually looks pretty fun. Like, that online integration is pretty solid. Also, damn, I look pale in this video. We pre-ordered. We have pre-ordered. Oh, okay, fairy tale. I 
I don't watch that anime. Relive the climactic Alvarez Empire arc from the hit anime fairy tale in this action RPG. I mean, it's an RPG. Hard to go wrong. Fiore, Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Engage in real-time battles and unleash powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. Work together with your teammates to take down powerful enemies. I mean, this looks fun on its own. It's just I don't know fairy tale at all, so I feel like I would be missing out on a lot of like cool details that I would otherwise only understand if like I watched the anime. That still looks cool. Yes! Fantasia, finally! Holy crap. I remember, I, like, looked at, um, this game for a, my video about exclusives, and I wanted this to come to consoles. I'm so happy it is. Holy crap. This game looks fantastic. No pun intended. evil entity threatening all mankind. God, I want to play this so bad. Skills are the ticket to win yeah, why on earth was this exclusive to, um, to enemies at once. why was this exclusive to Apple Arcade for the longest time? You can it was exclusive for three years. A and fight them later. Oh, that's kind of like a... I think the Octopath has are, that system too. That's out. cool. One shot. And that, like, trajectory system, Where that's interesting. Go? I feel like he's not saving it if he's saying it like that. Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Dude, that looks that looks fantastic. That that looks good. Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. Oh. That's basketball. It's being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch sports game. People still give a shit about this game? Dribble. Pass. Like, shoot. genuinely, who cares? Two -on -two matches using motion controls. Try out three-point challenge solo and score as many baskets as you can within the time limit. Up to four players can also compete in five-streak battle. Besides local play, you can team up with players worldwide in two-on-two -on -two online matches. Cool, I guess. This free update for Nintendo Switch Sports dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch this summer. And the sales numbers for this game dunked below expectations. Why does this look familiar? This reminds me of Made in Abyss, but I know it's not that. It's like a pencil-drawn, like, art style. Is it weird that I'm automatically assuming it's an indie game because it looks just distinctly unique for no other reason than just... The art style is the way it is. <laughs> like, you ever see a game and just go, that looks like an indie game, but you have no actual basis of, like, why you think so? This is definitely... Okay. Yeah, uh, that is a thing. Metroidvania, though. Who doesn't love Metroidvanias, right? Leap into a new update for Disney Illusion Island. What? Monoth's greatest detective is solving a mystery, and only Mickey and friends can help. In the I'm surprised adventure, this of all games is getting Monoth, an update. Uncover hints and evidence. From what I heard, this was already a pretty good game on its own. Dashboard to crack each case. What big secret lies at the end? Start sleuthing because this free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. That's pretty neat. That looks fun. Island Adventures Away. Little Sanrio. I guarantee nobody watching this video on my channel really cares about Sanrio, but... Hello Kitty, Karomi, 
me. My girlfriend loves Corolla. <laughs> that, that is the most I can say. Cinema rolls the goat, though. And restore Friendship Island when... Hello Kitty Island Adventure launches as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system next year. Why timed exclusive? I feel like the only like Sanrio fans in gaming would be on Nintendo. I can't imagine anybody with an Xbox Series X is interested in Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Could be wrong. Unleash the full power of Acme across iconic levels in up to four player local co op. See, this would have been multiverses if they locked the fuck in. Also, that that looks like the exact kind of um, cell shading they use for Fortnite skins. And now you can't unsee it. Hey, it's the thing that leaked the direct date! Oh, Phantom? Playing tracking devices on others as a tracker, or turn invisible while taking out players as a phantom. Suss things out when this dude. They should make like a map that's like in an opera house so that they can make Phantom of the Opera. That would be so sick. A monster army is at your command. Is it now? This is a realm of monsters. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the land's civilization. Ten, oh, that's a, a word. Must rise up against the oppressive Magus. Farmagia. Vicious reign of the underworld. I feel like half the like raise names of like worlds and stuff are just Magus's slurs. Army. Like, Plant I don't know. Seeds. Oh, wait. Okay, I was going to make a joke saying Farmagia sounds like a slur, but now I'm realizing it's a fucking farming sim. They can then be trained we are so back. <laughs> Give commands to your monsters and exploit enemy weaknesses in action packed combat. That's why that you can like grow your monsters. All of the battle buddies in your party to call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your foes. So it's like digivolution, basically. Where, like, temporarily, they, like, evolve. I thought we were done with the farming sims, damn it. <laughs> oh, okay. Monkey time. Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system. Donkey Kong Country Returns, again. In HD, the villainous Tiki Tak tribe has hypnotized the local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana hoard. I'm confused why they're like putting this on Switch just instead of just working on a new one. Found him. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is exciting because apparently this game is good, but like, why? From Manic Minecarts. To high flying rocket barrels. And even hitching a ride on Rambi. There are plenty of transportation methods available. Pass a Joy Con controller to a buddy for two player local co op. 80 appealing levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS. I, version. I love the puns. We love that. Also, yes, thank God. Okay. I'm kind of glad that they're making it like a definitive edition and including the 3DS stuff. They should have done that with like Xenoblade and all that, you know? One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. Yeah. We just saw the trailer, Takahashi. Are you okay? Did you take your medicine today? <laughs> Next, please take a look at this. Okay. Lock in, boys. It's gonna be something. Zelda! That looks like Hilda. <gasps> Link Between Worlds? Link Between Worlds on Switch? That literally looks like Hilda. Oh, what? I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, Dragon Quest uh, Urchrick Trilogy. HD2D, finally. It felt like for the longest time we were just never gonna hear about this game. But now, I guess, maybe they shifted focus from just, like, three into, like, the first three games. Oh. Oh. Journey with okay, I guess it's still three. The arch -fiend. 
I heard that Erdrick's entire trilogy was being remade. I mean, either way, this looks gorgeous. Holy crap. Perplexing challenges. That's not perplexing. That is a basic strength puzzle in Pokemon. An iconic RPG remade in HD 2D. Now I can see why everyone's saying put this game in Octopath Forge Engine because Jesus, path. this looks amazing. The legacy whore? Begins. Getting a hug, you whore. Wait, what do you mean it begins? Dragon it's the Quest third three. game. HD 2D remake. Coming to Nintendo Switch, November 14th. Oh! Oh! Oh wait, isn't that the guy from uh, the original Dragon Warrior? Yeah, there it is! Yep, there it is! Yeah, I'm surprised they're not doing 1, 2, and 3 together. Nintendo Direct, welcome Dragon Quest 3. How did you so, surprise That's interesting. I wonder, like, how far into development they made that decision. So, three comes first. The... Three, one, and two. Fascinating. I might have to try this. Because I talked to a guy at Square Enix, he. Gave me a few Dragon Quest games to recommend, so I'm gonna have to talk to him about this. We hope you're excited to play the entire Erdrick trilogy. That's sick, though. That that is actually sick. Let's continue. With it's gorgeous. I I can't get over the visuals. It looks fantastic. Let's have some fun, Co. No. <laughs> Let's not. Oh, this looks so bad. Wait, He Man. Great Scott, is that Marty McFly? I thought that was the Scott Pilgrim. Funko is coming to life this, in this looks action adventure mashup for the ages. Ew, flap. More than 60 characters as you explore locations based on over 20 iconic movies, TV shows, and more. This looks horrible. Use special skills. And this is genuinely to terrible. Explore epic worlds, each with their own unique puzzles, hidden areas, and familiar foes. Dinosaurs from Jurassic World and Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. If it wasn't Funko, I think this would be a whole lot cooler. The universe. When Funko Fusion pops on like this Nintendo seems Switch, like September what Lego like Dimensions was trying to be. But Lego is more iconic than Funko. We've got a smorgasbord of spooky, silly, and strategic games. We got well by golly gee. For an adventure of ghoulish okay. Proportions? Luigi's Mansion 2 is not Summon scary. Yeah, goof. And explore multiple goofy narrator man. Filled with goofy ghosts. Ah, who am I kidding? I, I can't even judge too much. This is my favorite Luigi's Mansion. And other supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo Oh wow, that's in just over a week. Meet the quirky little huh? Dampa Man. Find him, catch him, and lead him on a joyful RPG adventure. Explore Not gonna lie, and thought this monsters. was a Metopia update. <laughs> Customize all sorts of outfits. Decorate your island however you'd like. And more. So, up to four Animal Crossing and team up to catch special Dempa Man. So, the new Dempa Man Animal Crossing with Morph Suits on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. So, this is what Genius Sonority is working on that isn't Pokemon. Strategize away. Oh, is this a uh, Metal Slug? Yeah, the Metal Slug series. Wait, what happened to the Tactics? Um, of your reloaded. Enemy Weren't they working on like a Tactics Choose remake or something? 300 units with different abilities and build out your decks to win tactical tussles. 
You can also slug it out with other players in online battles. I like how the names for the trailer footage aren't even like names. They're just SNK 1 and 2. They didn't even bother to put like Matt and Joe or something. Expedition of the Dam in this eagerly awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stagecoach. Oh, I think I remember this from uh to prevent an apocalypse. Pretty sure I saw this in like the last indie world. And I thought it was cool. And upgrade your abilities after each deadly run. This does look interesting though. I've never heard of Darkest Dungeon before uh Indie World. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. More classic titles are on the way. Okay. Ooh, yes! Yes! They locked the fuck in! Yes! I don't know why I celebrated like that that sounded weird yes finally yes i have been waiting for them to add this i have been on kind of a metroid binge lately coming to the thank you 64 nintendo switch online mature 17 plus collection of games honey pop 64 Oh, Tura. Okay. The dangerous lost land to stop the campaigner's nefarious scheme. I didn't know that was rated M. Dinosaur Hunter. I have heard things about Turok, though. I heard the speed and run goes crazy. Perfect. Infiltrate a corporation. Let's go. Conspiracy in perfect dark. Now with online multiplayer. Oh, this music, man. Oh, that music All slaps. Four games will be available for Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members later. We today. will be playing uh, Metroid at least. Oh my god, because I love Fusion. Set sail to save the day. Disgaea? What's NIS cooking up? This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. I will take all the That's the NIS art style. Friend Ash. In this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. Oh? I've never heard of this. Take on tactical turn based. Oh. Oh. Where you combine the. Oh, the lag. Oh. In various ways. They got some optimizing to do. Combine phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them. Oh. Okay. Combine with a cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. Or combine with Morona herself for show stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Classic magical girl. Brave, uh, okay, yep, and I asked. I knew I recognized that somewhere. Wow, Phantom Brave. I've never heard of that. I might have to get a review this code for that next year. Take you for a ride. Street Fighter 2. Seven arcade games oh. featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Okay. Clash in X-Men versus Street Fighter. Duke it out in Marvel versus Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes. Take down the Kingpin in the beat em up side. There is definitely the a specific group more. of people that's excited about this, and I'm happy for them. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. Dude, when they make retro games have like an online mode, it's like it's an out of body experience, but it also just feels right. Like I'm glad they went that extra mile. To the museum to view artwork or listen to music. Also, that's a nice touch. I I like that. I love it when they add those features, man. Marvel versus Capcom fighting collection, arcade classic. At least Maximilian dude has got to be freaking out about this. Mario Party? Let's go! Game in the Mario Party Wait, I'm skeptical. On an enormous island resort. Mm. Get ready to jump into the biggest is it gonna be like good Mario Party, Party or is it gonna be like the bad Super kind? Mm. 
Uh, Super Mario Party wasn't that good. Take the escalators to travel between floors in Rainbow You should have doubled down on Mario Party Superstars. Use the maps from the GameCube games, please. Ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. With the new Turbo Dice item, you can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and flow of the tide can change your path. And things really get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games make their return. That's cool. Some mini games are action packed challenges. I can't get speed up trials, too upset about it. Of wits, and more. Hmm. And some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your Joy-Con controllers. This With does look fun. Mini games, that is quite a few mini games. Enjoy. So is it all new mini games or are they including also, some legacy? Up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. Coupathlon, that's Compete funny. Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. Try your best to come out on top. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway when the Super Mario Party Jamboree game launches that, on the Nintendo Switch system. That looks October like it's going to be very in the middle for people. I I think. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. In the Mario you know? Party series. Super Mario Party Jamboree. With new boards, mini games. I still think they should have doubled down on Superstars. Superstars was more. fantastic. Get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. And now, please take a look at this. Okay, he said the funny thing again. Okay. Link's Awakening remake art style. Sure. Wait, are they like remaking Zelda 1? Cuz that that's um That's um oh my god. Like like Pig Ganon, which I guess is just Ganon. Oh, no, it's not. <gasps> Don't tell me. We get to play as Zelda? Okay, the rumors about the Zelda game where you play as Zelda are true. It's finally the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Wow. Echoes of Wisdom. Oh, that makes sense. That's her part of the Triforce. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm AJ I like your cut, G. Producer of the Legend of Zelda series. He actually does look very different. I don't know why. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. That's super cool. This time Man. around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a- Is she gonna, like, fight with a staff or something? To explain more, please take a look at this video. Okay. You do your thing. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, okay. and sets off yep, on a journey definitely across a staff. Hyrule to save her kingdom. But also, Tri, By really? the Tri Rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Once you Smash! Echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Oh. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. That sounds very exploitable. Boxes, old beds, 
and unusual things like water blocks. So how can you decide? How you separately or together is entirely you can combine you. multiple of them. Okay. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. Also, that's how you could. Mm. You might be surprised at what you discover. I feel like that's gonna be a long menu to cycle through. Even battles will look different. Like, how far will this echo, go? For example, that's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. That's actually sick. Monsters what have the different hell? abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key, after all. Interesting. I like that. That's kind of a cool uh, gimmick there. I can't wait to see people, like, break the game with this feature. The fate of the kingdom is now. Oh, the old uh, Deku sprouts. That was like the one from Majora's Mask. That always had like the Deku leaf. How was that? You had to get the housing I hope you thing from this Majora's Mask. of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on you the can cheese used. so much of this short, game. I'm willing to bet. A game where each player's experience will be different. <laughs> Every <laughs> everyone's Echoes copy of Echoes of Wisdom is personalized. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. That looks we so hope cool. We're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. That Switch Lite is going to get bought up so fast. Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. Let's see a few more headlines. Yes, let's. What more do you have cooking for us? Let loose and party on. Oh. Okay. Man, I really thought, damn, this was going to be the year without a Just Dance. That was a lie, if you couldn't tell. I, I wish I had, like, funny commentary, but, like, I'm not really a Just Dance enjoyer, or a rhythm game enjoyer, for that matter. Um, also, finally putting Just Dance into a uh, subscription service. That makes a lot of sense. Makes more sense than releasing a new game every year, in my opinion. A new Lego adventure is on the horizon. Oh, that's right, Lego Horizon. That it's the world is a thing. Horizon in Lego form. Uh, really? Machine hunter Aloy on a quest to save the world from an ancient evil. Journey through lush landscapes. Dive deep into the cauldrons. Climb up onto tall necks and traverse other locations inspired by the original game. But be careful. Swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. Use an array of gadgets like blast boots and gravity bombs to hunt them down. From the nimble watchers to mighty sawtooths. You might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. As you progress, you can help Aloy rebuild her home. I mean, I don't really have much to add here that I didn't already say during like Summer Game Fest, so like. Don't have to explore this, vast this is cool. Home. Team up with Very experimental, I'll give them that. In two player, local, or it's definitely different from every other LEGO game I've played. And I have played a Lego lot of them. Horizon Adventures launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. A Stray's journey oh, Stray! Begins. Okay. I mean, we already had Little Kitty Big City, but, you know, we'll take it. How the hell did they get this to run on Switch, though, is my question. Because, like, look at the game on PS5. Like, they definitely had to sacrifice a lot in this game. 
to get it to run on Switch, I mean. Experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes of a cat, separated from their family and friends. Explore alongside a drone known as B12 to find your way home. Carefully climb to the highest heights. Create new paths for yourself. And stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. So be an asshole to everybody. Careful though. Not everyone is excited to have you slinking around, including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. Keep exploring to venture into more areas of this unfamiliar world and make your way back to safety. You know, for a PS5 game, this actually Switch. runs pretty well. To Nintendo Switch or like they made it holiday. look pretty good. Like it doesn't look too compromised. Welcome home, Hobbit. And another farming sim. If you've ever wanted to live like a hobbit from the Lord of the Rings, now a leisurely existence nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize your appearance, decorate your home, and settle into life in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors. You know, even though I've never seen Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, share a meal. like or three. this looks fun. Explore. Garden, I don't think fish, I play it, but and cook. this definitely the looks like a good time. The Hobbit community is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes. Also, yes, I've never Plus, seen Lord of the Rings. Give me the hate comments down below. It helps with engagement. Or special ingredients for even tastier meals. Friendly hobbits and familiar faces await your arrival when Tales of the Shire launches on the Nintendo Switch system this holiday. Lots to look forward to in the holiday season. Looks like. Oh, okay. It's attorney. And it's Edgeworth. So let's see, Edgeworth Trilogy. Oh, games, investigation. A sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan are coming to Nintendo Switch as nice. a collection. It's always cool when they localize the stuff that never had like a Edgeworth, Western release. Take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes. Gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence. Then use the power of logic to solve challenging cases. Enjoy all new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character designer. I don't want to actually to play this. Sprites for a more classic look. Take a break from your investigation to explore the gallery, where you'll find character art, music, including orchestral arrangements, and more. Nice touch. Past and collide as you uncover the truth at any cost. Ace Attorney Investigations Collection launches on Nintendo Let's see, Investigations Switch, Collection. 6. So it's just two games? Begin later today on Nintendo e -Shop. I thought Edgeworth had like a trilogy. Oh? <laughs> Definitely anime. I'm not complaining. I love anime game. Uh oh? Oh. Huh. <laughs> Yikes. What the hell are these things? After a devastating attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. No, I'm gonna lie, I thought the ghost was like the narrator for a second. <laughs> He's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. You know, I wonder if this was made by the, um, Danganronpa people. It seems like Danganronpa if it was like a tactics game. And the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this hundred day trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life? The creators of Dongan Rampa present. Okay, the yep, there it is. Last Defense Academy, launching on Nintendo. I Switch figured. Early next Wait, year. Anaplex and Tokyo Game? Or Tokyo? Wait, but I thought uh, Spike Chunksoft did. Dangan um, Rampa. A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo oh. Switch. Cool. Yeah, a lot of Saga games have been uh, getting attention lately. Because uh, we just had Emerald Beyond, I'm pretty sure. Still need to play the demo for that. Legendary seven heroes who have turned to darkness. 
combat. Use returning saga features like glimmers to learn skills and formations to enhance abilities. Turn-based battles have also evolved into timeline battles. I've been seeing a lot more timeline battles lately because I played the demo for Trails through Daybreak like and it functions kind of similar strategy. in the timeline How sense at you least. Expand your empire? And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. This seems very fun. Romancing I mean, I love me a good turn-based RPG. Launches on Hard to go wrong. Switch, October 24th. I've always heard about the Romantic Saga series, so I guess this might be a good time to actually try them. We hope you're excited to experience the Did they remake, remake the first one? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. All right, Silk Song. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Oh boy, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh! It's real. It's real. Metroid Prime 4 is real! Mm. Oh my god. This looks so good. Mm. I want it. I want it. I want this so bad. Good god. I can only imagine how excited this is if, like, you've played all three of the Metroid Prime games. Because I've only played the remaster of the first one. But holy crap, dude. This looks incredible. Wait, new villain? Where Ridley at? But that's a interesting Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Wow. That that was badass. Oh? Next year? Okay. I figured. I figured. That makes sense. They've been cooking. They've that been was cooking. First look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for 2025, so please wait a little bit longer. You know, I hope you're looking mm. forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. You know, the quality of the trailer makes me think it's going to be a Switch 2 successor game. Thank you for watching. That... I can't believe it's actually real. Metroid Prime 4 is real, guys. Holy shit. Oh my lord. That that was an excellent Nintendo Direct. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments down below what your favorite announcement from the Direct was, because there is definitely a lot of good stuff in the Funko game. Uh that I cannot stress how much that specifically sucks. Uh but <laughs> Oh god, I'm dying. Um that was absolutely incredible. Uh, watch to the end. Thank you so much for watching my reactions. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss other reaction content. And also, just a general videos for me. I do video essays sometimes. I've got a few videos in the works. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.